Hi, this is Mr. B, and I want to go over how to do the last part of our project, which is the explore and design portion. This is kind of the fun part of the project where you can design your own machine, just come up with an idea for a machine. You don't have to draw it or actually uh, create it or anything, but you are going to design the gears. And this is really an explorative thing. Just explore and kind of have fun with it. It doesn't necessarily have to make sense or anything. You're just playing around with this. And to get started, we need to go to the gear generator. So right here is the gear generator. We're going to open that up, and this is what the gear generator looks like. It shows us on the right-hand side here two gears already set in place. There's a blue mat here. This is your gear workstation. And then on the left-hand side, this is all of our information about these two gears and we can change this information and change what those gears look like. Let's just take a look at this information to begin with. At the top we see animation. So start and stop we will start our gears up right here and we can see them turn. We can change the speed of them. They can go faster or slower. Of course everybody likes to see it go super fast. However it kind of like defeats the purpose. It's hard to see them until you kind of slow them down a little bit. So we're going to slow it down to 15 and you can freeze it, it'll stop very quickly, or you can just hit stop and it'll kind of uh, slowly come to a stop. Down below the animation section are the gears. So here it lists the two gears that we have. If I click on these gears, you'll notice that they highlight. So this highlighted gear here is gear number zero. And yes, they start numbering these with zero. And this gear here is gear number one. You can click on the gears out here to select them, or you can click on the left-hand side where the gears are located. So gear number zero, below gear zero, are the properties. So this tells you about that gear. So let's just take a look at some of these properties. The connection angle will simply turn the gear to its starting point, and that will not help Gear zero, all it does is kind of just turn the gear like this, so that doesn't really do anything. Now that will affect this gear. It'll move it around as its starting point. So we'll examine that when we get to that gear. The X and the Y position, you can move those. It simply shovels It simply moves them around on the grid. Uh, the X, of course, moves it in a horizontal fashion, and the Y will move it up and down, so you can better see it. And below there, now this is very important, the number of teeth. This is what we will change a lot of. So this, uh, this gear right here, it has 30 teeth in it. We can change that to be any number here. Here's 50 teeth. Of course, it's a larger gear, and it will affect the speed of the other gear here, the driven gear. So that's the number of teeth. These three items right here, we can completely ignore them. They simply have to do with these, the shape of these cogs and the shape of the teeth. So let's ignore that. We don't need to do anything with that. We can ignore the download. And then the display right here is simply zooming in and zooming out. So we can type in 40 if we need 40. There are three options here that you can use. The grid simply just shows a grid behind it. The gear guides simply shows these lines right here. We don't really necessarily need those. The gear label put information on the gear, and we don't really need those either. There are background choices. You can go for a light background, a blue background, or a dark background like this. So either of those is fine. You can play around with any of those. So let's talk about how to uh, make some changes to our gears and add gears. Oh, by the way, let me go ahead and click on the second gear here. And You'll notice this. When we click on gear number one, it says parent gear number. That's the gear it will be attached to. So this gear is attached to gear zero. And there are no other options. You can't attach it to a different gear because there are no other gears. And the, uh, this right here, the axle connection angle, if we were to change that, you can see how it will simply move around and we can place it where we want it to be, if you wanted it to be anywhere special. We can change the number of teeth. And of course, uh, that's it. There are a couple other things here. Internal gear, that would mean that it is a gear that has the teeth on the inside. And this, it kind of looks very strange, but now the teeth are on the inside of the gear and 
they're connected like that. It's really kind of hard to understand that one. I'll show you some other examples right here. So you're going to be able to create your own set of gears. You have to use at least five gears, at least five gears. And let me show you some examples of what other people had seen right here. These are just some examples of other gear sets right here. Here's one. Uh, somebody made these. I think there's only four on this one, but I thought that was really cool. I wanted to show. Now this large gear right here, this has an internal gears, which is kind of neat. So the teeth are on the inside and you can see that it's connected to that right there. I think that one looked really cool. And uh, this one looks really cool too. Here's the gear zero is this one right here. And it has the teeth. It's an internal gear as well because the teeth are on the inside of it. And uh, it looks pretty cool when it's run like that. And uh, you can slow it down a little bit to really see it kind of moving those gears. So you get to make your own gear set and then just kind of invent something out of your imagination. It could be something that's real, like this is a, a new kind of blender, or it could be an imaginary machine. Let's talk about how to add new gears to it. So we have these two gears, gear zero and gear number one. Let's add a new gear. So come over here to gears, click add new, and it will automatically make zero the parent gear. You can see that here. Parent gear number is zero, which is fine if we wanted that to be. What if we wanted it to attach it to gear number one? Well, just type in gear one. Enter, enter, <laughs> and there we have it attached to gear one as its parent so that when we start it, it looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on gear zero. But of course, it looks odd being right on top of each other here. So we can change the this right here, the axle connection and the, the angle, and we can move it around to wherever we want it. And that way, when we start it, it's going to look like this. We can change the number of teeth. 16, that's a large one right there. I bet it's not going to move very quickly. So a slow moving one right there. We can give it an internal gear. Now it looks like this. So we can kind of experiment with these. So every time you add a new, it will attach it to a parent gear automatically, the previous parent gear. So right now the new one I just created is attached to number two, which is the, the internal gear and I can move it around I can attach it to another gear maybe I wanted it to attach it to this gear I can say parent gear number one and start and stop like that and move them around anywhere I'm just kinda of showing you how to create gears and add new gears make sure you're changing the teeth Okay, that's way too big. <laughs> Get creative. You can do that. It's okay. We can always zoom out. Let's zoom out here. That looks like that. So you can get creative with your, your gears and uh, create something, design something, describe it in your project. So here you want to describe what is your machine and then create a link to it. I want the link right here. So all you have to do is come up to the top. Click here, you'll notice it's all blue. You want to hit Control C or you can copy. Then you go into your, your, um, your project here, click somewhere, I mean anywhere down here, like click a cell and hit Control V or paste. And that right there will take me directly to your gears right there so I can see those. All right, so anyway, that is how your gear generator works. Have fun with it, explore and uh, enjoy that part. Thank you.